this stupid project. Hey, let's go. That's not the way. <laughs> no. That is way, way better. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is, surprisingly, version 3 of my DIY uh, fume extractor system. So let's get it. By the way, all the DIY projects are right here. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with this sweet, sweet video. Screw my plans for today. I'm going for a version 3 in the last vlog. Version 2. You can check it out right here. I figured... I figured that putting the fan, the exhaust fan in the middle of the system would be a good idea. And yes, it was, it worked way better. And as I said, my neighbor showed up coincidentally and he said, well, this is mainly for actually sucking the air, not blowing. It's probably not able to build up a lot of pressure, which it is not. Yes, that's right. That's right. I can definitely say that. So on version one, the fan was at the inlet, basically. Version two, it's in the middle. And now version three, it will be at the end. So the fan will be an outlet fan, basically. I don't know. So this is the thing that I insert into this window. So I somehow need to screw on the fan right here on this freaking wood. Okay. So for this white one, I just used little screws. And I will most likely do the exact same thing. Oh, I messed up the screw. Ah, why is this so hard? This stupid project. God damn it, this screw is gone. Hell no. Look at this waste of perfectly fine space tape. That is so sad. That is just so sad. And there we go. So I managed to extract the screw right here and well, it fits pretty much perfectly, which is awesome. Right there. Okay, eight millimeters right there. Okay, let's make it nine maybe. Okay, right there. This is what I need. <laughs> so funny. Oh my god. I just started drilling and then I was like, okay, I'm actually retarded. I have this. What is my life? This just happened. I don't know how or why, but this thing just in here broke. So this thing is trash basically and that's a progress so it's not a lot okay it was more work way more work than expected hey let's go after quite a bit of cleaning i'm now left with this it's ridiculous it's one keep it's not my best hole but it also won't matter so let's move on it's pretty perfect now i will drill a few tiny holes and then screw it in place okay screws washers and later on i will also probably glue it together with silicone just to give it a you know a perfect seal okay okay let's go okay here we go with the silicone that's not the way <laughs> no it's not coming out again oh oh Ah, uh, okay. All right. Smoothed out and pretty much done. Yeah, this is it. Looking like this. And here we go with more space tape. <laughs> Perfect. Sick. That is awesome! Yes! Yes! That is way better than before. So I just taped together the tube right here. That should do. And now let's test it once again. That is way, way better. I can already see the freaking dust particles getting sucked in. That is awesome. So that's the routing for now. If I make it shorter just by this much, I can, well, 
I think I can hear and like feel that it's getting way stronger. At least a bit. I guess it would be better to route it down here and right here to make it as short as possible. But yeah, this is it for now. Yeah, it's working. It's getting a lot of smoke. That's nice. Yeah, that is satisfying. I can I can live with that. Let's go. That is so cool. It's still kind of slow. It's not crazy fast, the extraction, but it's definitely visible. And yeah, for the first time, I finally have a working fume extractor. Let's go. Version 3, very nice. And it's not even that loud, I think. I could be wrong, but for the video, I mean, but I can live with that, definitely. No problem whatsoever. Very nice. Okay, as I said, there is a bit of room for improvements and I also need a holder for this thing. But you know, little things. Now I'm finally able to go for massive soldering projects without dying in this workshop. Also, woodworking should be way more acceptable, you know, for my lungs. And yeah, it's definitely the right step for a better health because I really try my best to kind of work on that, harm myself a little less, as less as possible. But yeah, that's it for this one. Smash that like button the way I can now smash fumes with this tube. Smashing fumes, let's go. <laughs> Bang the bell like pra, pra, to never miss. DIY projects, check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>